Are you wanting to change up your hair color? Well, it's Work It Wednesday, and expert stylist Chris Foster is here to kind of show us what's hot this fall. Yeah. You're looking at some pretty pictures. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's interesting to see how certain trends are happening in the fall and like what we're seeing things going to, and it's really like that lived in hair kind of look, that grown out look, I think it's starting to peak. So we're gonna see a lot more of that. Um, but hand painting and baby lights are kind of new things that you're seeing and multi-tonal so stuff. It's so funny you say the hand painting. Is that, yes. it's like what you like? Just balayage is the term that they're using for it, but it's something that's been around forever. It's a French way of hair coloring. Um, but you have to be careful as a stylist and as a client going into the salon to make sure that the stylist has the proper um, materials and color to use for that because okay. you can't just use anything to hair paint because it kind of gets everywhere. Right. You need something that's going to stay and that's the trick. Well, we're looking at some of the celebs here. I mean, like, how do you know which one looks right for you? Because well, if you can see, like, all the pictures that we're uh -huh. showing, it's very, um, everything is very loose and tousled and kind of lived in. It doesn't look like everything is fresh done. But the one key component that I've noticed is things are warmer for the fall. Uh -huh. Even if you're blonde, it's still got that golden caramelly tone to it. Um, and also, if you're doing reds, like, it's, you, you cannot hold back from red. you got to go for it. Like, do that punch red. of color. Yeah. <laughs> it's vibrant. Everything is vibrant. Even the, the fun people who are wearing the pastel tones this summer are going to deeper, smokier tones and, like, more vibrant ends. So they're not holding back in the pigment at all. Okay, because I had a lot of friends that, that this summer I'd be like, oh, you're pink. Okay. Yeah, it's totally fun, and I do a lot of it in the salon, believe it or not. And for me, it's like, oh, if you do it and it's wearable and you can pull it off, Go for it. It's hair color. It fades out. You can change it. It's it's always easy, and it's you know your hair is your number one accessory. You should totally rock it every day. Rock it when you can. And here's one because some people you know are new to the whole hair coloring game. Right. So it's like, okay, how long is this gonna last? Do I got? Is it like a big upkeep and try to keep up? Color? Right. Well, fortunately for the client and for the pocketbook, the way that the color is going now and how it's trending, it's very. It may not be affordable when you do it right away because it is that hand painting technique is kind right. of precise. But the wearability is sometimes twice, three times as long as the traditional foil. So you get a lot more length out of the hair color versus before showing the roots and stuff. So uh, as far as longevity of the color, it all depends on the type of color being mixed that's applied. And that's something that your stylist can handle. Your stylist, like, uh -huh, this guy yeah. right here. <laughs> you can go to his website, chrisfosterhair.com. Make an appointment at his place. You will not be disappointed. You do such great work, and we're so lucky you come on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris.